Hey guys, welcome to tonight's episode and replay of Chow Time with JP. And this is part two of our International Snacks and World Market featuring Lily. Hi. So in a few moments here, we will get started. we got a bag full of goodies here. And this time, no wasabi peas. <laughs> hey, Penguin. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Tina. It's actually going to take it into the air. <laughs> Hey Alicia, hey RJ. I want to adjust that camera a little bit. Hi Carla. <clears throat> Hi Donna. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's stream. This is going to be part two of our international snacks. From World Market, which was my Christmas present from Lily. So it's only fitting that she joins us for part two to finish it off. We do have more items this time. Mm -hmm. So this will be a little bit of a longer stream, but we will try our best to stay on point and get through them one by one. Hopefully nothing spicy. I had to watch this one. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. You guys go back to that. Hey, Barb. Hey, Rhonda. Hello, everyone. Okay, so we're going to get started uh, with the items. We'll, we'll show you one at a time what they are, give you a brief description as far as we could um, see see and understand, and then we will try them one by one. At the end, we will give you our top favorite and worst favorite, <laughs> if that is even such a thing. So. Can I introduce some of them? Of course you can't. Go ahead. You can start. All right. So right off the bat, we have... Knock off Pocky, aka Hello Kitty breadsticks with strawberry cream. So they're basically like Pocky, but Hello Kitty version. <laughs> Where should we put this now? Let's put it up here somewhere. Next one is Every Burger. It's burger shaped chocolate filled cookies. So that should be quite interesting with texture and flavor. I think these are gummies you said? No, no, they're, they're not. They're, they're not crackers. crackers. I thought these were like the SpongeBob Krabby Patties, but they're not. No. Okay. Um. Hey, Rob. Hey, Liam. Hey, Melissa. Now we have Waffle Tin. It's like those ones we tried last time we were here on part one, but now they're larger <laughs> in size. Mm -hmm. Next one is Cadbury Wispa. Biscuits. It says bubbly milk chocolate biscuits. These actually sound pretty good. I like the packaging too. It's nice purple and it's like a, a foil type wrapper on it. Hey, Christine. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Edith. Hey, uh, everyone joining in. Next one is Tony's Chocolate. Um, it is milk chocolate caramel sea salt. It's all around the package, too. It's hard to read. And there's this, a surprise inside the wrapper. Golden ticket? I hope. <laughs> Maybe it's a silver ticket. I want a golden ticket. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, next one is... I guess the company is Loker. L-O-C-K-E-R. Rose of the Dolomites. That is quite the name. It sounds like a movie. Yeah. They're little chocolates. I don't know... What the flavoring or what's inside of them, but it's definitely unique packaging. Next is root beer barrel, fifty-five percent dark chocolate. Yeah. Root beer. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of root beer. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Next is Hawaiian Host Founders Collection. Matcha. Matcha chocolate. It says signature premium green tea chocolate. Here we go, green tea again. <laughs> Covered whole macadamias. As long as it's not wasabi. The last time we had green tea Kit Kats, and I didn't mind those. This one shouldn't be too bad. I guess we got two of the same. <laughs> Swiss chocolate. That's another one? Yeah. Same? Um, well, one has yellow and one has white. Well, there's two, it's two different types. Oh, read, okay. read the description. Finest Alpine Milk Swiss Chocolate. Do the other one then. All right, then. 
Oh, there, there we go. Splish chocolate alpine milk with car with crunchy caramel and sea salt. <laughs> and lastly is Maltesers or Maltesers? Teasers. And it's called Teasers. Um, crunchy little Maltesers pieces floating in creamy milk chocolate. I guess, I guess it's chocolate malt, I would assume. Want to move like, the bag out of the way? Yeah, I do like chocolate malt, so... Actually, keep the bag by you. We'll put the wrappers in there. All right. Okay, so I can't remember. Yeah, last time we let them pick. We'll pick this time. You go first. Pick what you want. Okay. Uh, um. We'll do the Pocky. Okay. So Lily's picking the Pocky. Hello Kitty Pocky. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. You know what? I should get. Hang on. I got something for this occasion. Oh. Oh yeah. These are festive via cream with the biscuits. <laughs> Hello Kitty. You know, it's not Hello Kitty. I figured it'd be appropriate <laughs> just to wear this for this particular item. It's close enough to Hello Kitty, I guess. So take your breadstick and dip it in the sun. Oh, yeah. I can't see. I forgot. There you go. You gotta help me here. All right, so. Direct me. In says, there you go. Is it in it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is it on there? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is, is harder cream. Let me get one more. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Strawberry cream is really good. It's just a plain cracker stick. But, um, you know, there's no flavor to that. The chocolate, strawberry cream, they don't give you too much, though. It's only like a little reservoir of it. I can actually eat all this cream just with one stick. But the flavor's really good. I just think they should give you more cream, though. I think that's why they made it hard, like a hard cream. Maybe. In case you're wondering, I got these at five below. So, these will be used in a future episode for the blind food, blind food, blindfolded veggie taste test. The food's going to be blinded? Yes. Where should I put this? This is on the side up there. Mm. So, that was good flavor, just not enough cream. Okay, your turn. I'm going to go with the malt teasers. I do like chocolate malt, especially milkshakes. Chocolate malt shakes are really good. Never had the chocolate malt. Oh. Ooh. It's like little bubbles. bubbles of chocolate. And the bottom is little crackle pieces, which is probably the malt. This smells like chocolate. Yes, this is my daughter. He's close right like your shirt. Goonies. Mm -hmm. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Here's what the inside looks like. I do have to say, it tastes good, but the malt flavor is really underwhelming. If I didn't know it was in there, I really wouldn't even be able to tell. So it tastes good. It's just I don't taste the malt. What did it just be all 100% chocolate and pretzels? <clears throat> yeah, I mean it's good though. Mm -hmm. My turn now. Yeah. Right. If at any point you want them to choose between something, just ask. All right. We're gonna do the squish chocolate to alpine with crunchy caramel and sea salt. Yeah, and sea salt. Hey, Nady. Yeah, it looks like crunch, but there's no crunch to it. This is very, like, What does thin. your shirt say, Lily? They're asking you. Oh, um, is it, it's in Japanese, but it says My Hero Academia. It says, eat at your local Japanese buffet. <laughs> it's a joke. I know. 
You broke the chocolate. Good job. I'm a bully. Yeah. I can't even get this open. Okay, there yeah, it looks like a Nestle Crunch bar, except it's bumpy, but there's no crackle to it, and there's no malt flavor. It just tastes like a regular chocolate bar. I only need one piece. So this is supposed to be caramel, sea salt, and milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I just smell the chocolate, but it's Swiss, right? Yeah. That's actually crunchy. Or puffy. Bobby? Supposed to be. <laughs> See what Christina said? Wait a minute. Thank you, Christina. Let me see that wrapper again. So, with this one, this is Milk Boy Switzerland. It's Swiss chocolate, alpine milk with crunchy caramel and sea salt. I don't taste the caramel. It is crunchy, so it's like a Nestle Crunch bar. And you do taste the salt, the sea salt, which makes it really nice and sweet. But um, it's like a salt and sweet combination. It's a good combination. But there, I don't taste the caramel, which I'm not complaining about. I'm not a huge caramel lover, except for like maybe Twix. I do like Twix that has caramel. But it's crunchy, like a Nestle Crunch. Sea salt is a good combination. Overall, though, it's a good flavor. I would definitely get this again. I'm going to let you guys choose next. While we're chewing this, choose number one or number two. It's either the Every burger, cookie filled shaped burgers, or the um, you're throwing it everywhere. Green tea, chocolate covered macadamias, one or two. I don't like cherries. Hello, Kiki. One was winning. Well, it's pretty close, but I think one pulled ahead. And some people are voting twice. <laughs> okay, so I'll go at number one with the Every Burger. Hi, kitchen. So this is made by, I think it's a Chinese company, but it has bourbon on it. So it's burger filled, no, burger shaped chocolate filled cookies. Crispy and crunchy cookies filled with chocolate. So I guess the buns are cookies and the meat is chocolate. We'll see how it looks and tastes. How big is your P.O. box? It doesn't, it's, P.O. box sizes don't matter. They just give you a ticket if something doesn't fit inside of it. I've had big boxes sent to me with the, uh, from Ghost City Shelton. She sent me that big Swiss um, colony platter. Uh, it's like a big 15 by 15 box. We still have leftover items of it too. So it comes in a little wrapped tray. foil. The tray's wrapped in foil. Mm -hmm. Finishing my sentences, are you? Maybe. Wanted to send you something, but you'd have to keep an eye on the P.O. box every day. Well, I check it about every other day, so I get, again, if something is waiting for me, the post office is good with holding it for me, and they give me an envelope. Um, a little note saying that there's an item to be picked up. So, if you guys send something, I do check it off, and I, and typically I unbox it on the Sunday night live stream, unless you say otherwise. But I do share it during the live stream. Oh, oh. <laughs> these actually look pretty cool. I'm gonna try to show you. It is a little tray. And it's filled with little burgers. And they look realistic, too. Hopefully you can see that. But the buns actually look like they have seeds on them, like poppy seeds, or sesame seeds, I mean. And the meat is chocolate. So let's pick some. So I'll show you one up close. 
I don't know what the seeds are, but they look realistic, though. Smells like cookies and chocolate. So the two buns is supposed to be cookies and then chocolate in the middle. The cheese is white chocolate. Is it? Yeah. Let me split one open. Okay. <laughs> it's like a burger patty with cheese on it, but it's actually dark and white chocolate. It's actually really creative. It looks really cool. So I'm gonna eat the I'm gonna eat two of them. I'm gonna eat this separately. Eat the cookie part first and then the burger part, which is chocolate. And then I'll eat a second one as a whole. Cookies, you know, kind of bland, which I expected, but the uh, stuff on top, I don't know what it is, but it is a little, like, crunchy. Yeah, try what you did. So the chocolate is like regular milk chocolate, nothing special, but it does taste good, but I'm going to eat this one as a whole. Maybe I should take a bite out of it, like. I'm numb. Mmm. <laughs> Need some pickles on it. Guess the green chocolate. Jill is um off the camera right now. <laughs> she had a late night at work, so she's just relaxing. Hey Alan. So yeah, these are pretty good and really a fun item. I never saw these before. I've had gummy burgers. Like the Krabby Patty ones, right? Yeah. SpongeBob ones, which are just gummies. But this tastes like a uh, like a chocolate chip cookie almost, minus the chocolate chip. But pretty fun. Yeah. And creative. So I get the pick next, I think. Yeah, unless you want them to pick something. Um, I'll choose the root beer chocolate, dark chocolate stuff. Alex, we actually already did the Bean Boozle Challenge. If you check our Chow Time playlist. There's an episode there, and I didn't fare so well during that that um, during that challenge. We got the silver tickets. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, look at that. Can I have the wrapper to see? Sure. It's kind of ripped, but yeah. Lily couldn't help herself. She bit up. That holds it. This is Theo. Never heard of them. Root beer barrel, fifty-five percent dark chocolate, which is healthier. Yes, I love dark chocolate. I wish she didn't rip it so much, though. I'm sorry. Where's the rest of it? You know. Uh. I'm gonna try to read this. It says sweet root beer barrel candy. Uh, root barrel candy. I don't like that. A rich dark chocolate for a satisfying crunch. Indulge your imagination with a surprising and delicious. Combination of flavors. Theochocolate.com I'm probably not going to like this. <laughs> so, just take a small bit. These are big bars, actually. I you smell, can probably hear this. I smell the dark, the, no, root Ooh, beer. Exactly. You can see little things inside of it, like little crystals. I guess it's like the root beer candy. I didn't know that was. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Thankfully, it's not wasabi. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Swallow them. Yeah. Oh. Not my favorite. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I told you that. Okay, so root beer, I'm not a huge fan of, but the root beer candies, those little hard candies, I definitely do not like. They almost resemble like licorice to me. So the root beer flavor is very strong in this. It is crunchy, and the dark chocolate isn't bad. It's just the root beer flavor that ruins it. I traditionally like milk chocolate over dark, even though dark is better for you. But the only way I was able to get it down is because the chocolate kind of helped coat everything, so... The root beer, though, is pretty strong. I do like the crunch, but that's about it. I, I won't ever buy this for myself. If you like root beer, though, or those hard root beer candies and dark chocolate combined, then you may want to get one for yourself. 
Are we taking turns? I grab another water, I said. Oh, I thought you said you grab another one. No. <laughs> grab two more. Alright. Grab more of the bottom drawer. Yeah, Barbara, I'm right there with you. Not, no root beer for me. I don't even like root beer floats. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Okay, I guess it's my turn. So we got three and three. We got six items left. So I'm going to pick with the one that was number two before. This is the Hawaiian Host Founders Collection Matcha, matcha Chocolate. It's signature premium green tea chocolate covered whole macadamias. It looks like peanut butter cups, but just green. And they're actually produced in Honolulu, Honolulu, <laughs> Hon Honolulu, Hawaii. Cindy Lou Hoo Hoo. Root beer is only so that's okay for your teeth. No. Too bad I don't like it. Ooh. So these look like the little mini, mini, I can't talk. You can't. <laughs> mini peanut butter cups the way they're wrapped it is green like um smells like good. pea soup green color it smells really good does it oh. oh it smells like green tea you like that smell mm -hmm. so you see the lump in there that's the macadamia but it looks like a mini peanut butter cup almost identical but it smells like green tea looks like pea soup i'm gonna bite it in half and we'll try it I don't, I never had root beer, but I don't like it with chocolate. Ah, oh, this is worse than the Kit Kat. There's the inside. The only thing I don't like about this is the not. This is very potent green tea flavor. It's like, it's like you're drinking like green tea extract. I didn't get the nut though. I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Yeah, it's not good. Gotta wash that one down. I don't know. <laughs> It's a tongue twister. Okay. So, my initial comparison was between the green tea Kit Kat, right? Mm -hmm. That we had in part one. Those ones, the green tea was very, very subtle. Almost non-existent. They were green in color, but it tasted like a Kit Kat, and it was good. This one, though, looked like a peanut butter cup, a miniature one. But the flavor was nothing but green tea. And I don't like green tea, so. The macadamia nut wasn't bad. It gave a nice crunch to it. But the green tea flavor is just really strong and powerful. I didn't like it at all. But if you like green tea, maybe it's for you. Okay, I'll pick. <laughs> yeah, go with something I like. <laughs> the Alpine Swiss chocolate. I think it's just like milk chocolate. You can read it first. Oh, I can? I can? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Finest Alpine milk chocolate from Switzerland. <clears throat> it has the ingredients, which I'm not going to bother reading. But um, it's made by Milk Boy Switzerland again. It's got the like the Swiss Army logo on it, which is pretty neat. Oh, I'll like open it up. You'll have the smell of green tea, then you'll probably love the smell of that. I opened it way more better than I did with the other one. Oh, great. It's broken again. It's a golden wrapper, but not a golden ticket. I'm keep, I keep looking, though, for a golden ticket. I want to win a tour of the chocolate factory. Is there, is there actually one in the world? There's one somewhere. <laughs> There's one somewhere over the rainbows. Alrighty. I'll give you three again. Here you go. So, these look like... You know what these look like? The like um, Hershey... These are they're called the Hershey Miniatures. It's like the little version of the candy bars. They're individually wrapped. It looks almost like that. Same size, same shape. This is just milk chocolate, but it resembles the Hershey Miniatures. You know, like the, you know, you get the bag of them. Mm -hmm. But 
That's what it looks like. It smells good. Yeah, it smells like milk chocolate. Deep fry them, yeah. What was that chocolate we had the other day? Remember? We were playing the game yesterday. Tony chocolate. Was it? Mm hmm. It was dark chocolate, though. So I do have to say, I am pretty particular with my chocolate. And I said many, many times that Hershey's is my favorite. I do like Lindor chocolates. And part one, we tried, I slimed the chocolate, which I thought was kind of underwhelming. What was the one that we tried on Sunday? Remember? I said I liked it more, you didn't. Do you remember what that was? There was some type of chocolate. Was it? Oh, Belgium, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had Belgium chocolate I tried on Sunday. That one I thought was better than the Icelandic, but it didn't compare to Hershey. This Milk Boy Switzerland, though, is right up there with Hershey for me. I think the flavor is spot on. It's rich, it's creamy, and it it's just the perfect sweetness of it. So I really like this. Switzerland milk chocolate. Even the caramel sea salt one was good too. <clears throat> but for a simple milk chocolate, I really like it. Mm. Yeah, Dove is pretty good too. Swiss versus Belgium. Swiss would win with me. My turn? Yes. So next up for me is going to be the Cadbury Wispa Biscuits. It's kind of a funny name, but I do like the packaging, though. It almost resembles like a Wonka wrapper, the purple color. I need chocolate now. <laughs> chocolate. If you guys ever want to see something funny, if you guys probably know the cartoon SpongeBob, go to YouTube, just search SpongeBob chocolate scene. There's a funny segment where SpongeBob and Patrick are trying to sell chocolate. And they go to this door, and um, this guy is chasing them down because he wants to buy the chocolate so bad. But then the mother is this basically skeleton with like a little spine in a wheelchair, and she's what? What do they want? It's my chocolate. It, what? It's, yeah, you have to see it. It's pretty funny though, but it gives you a good laugh. And they're selling chocolate door to door, and the guy's going crazy for the chocolate. Hey, there's Sparky. Ooh. Oh, so it's a <clears throat> tray of two, four, six, eight chocolate covered biscuits. Yay. Thank you. So these look like, um, you know, what these actually look like to me. Um, those cupcakes by, um, not Hostess. Who, who makes those cupcakes that I get all the time? Tasty Cakes? Is it Tasty Cake? The, um, candy cake ones. Yeah. Or Tandy Cake they're called, I think. It looks like those, only a skinnier version of it. But that's what it looks like, those Tandy Cakes or Candy Cakes? Oh, yeah. Tasty Cakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just smells like chocolate. Mm. Have I tried Godiva? I might have. I can't remember. These are pretty good. This is like, um, this tastes like, um, those milk, not milk, the, um, chocolate striped cookies. I think they're maybe not Keebler Elf, but, um, they sell them at the supermarket, but it's like a cracker, um, a cracker base covered in chocolate and the top has like stripes on it and chocolate. It yeah. tastes just like that. I can't remember the name, but they're like chocolate striped cookies, and they're really good. This tastes identical to that, so I like it. <coughs> Easy. <coughs> it tastes really Stripes. good. Yeah, that's it. 
I like that. Uh, yeah, called? I think it's fudge stripes. Yeah, these are really good. No, next is Tony's chocolate. You can read it again. So this is a huge bar. Tony's chocolate, chocolate colony. Chocolate. <laughs> I think it's chocolate calling me, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it says, Crazy about chocolate, serious about people. Hi there. We're Tony's Chocolate Colony. We exist to end modern slavery and illegal child labor in the chocolate industry. Our vision is 100% slave-free chocolate. Not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. The more people join us and share our story, the sooner 100% slave-free chocolate becomes the norm. The choice is yours. Are you in? I never knew chocolate was made with slavery. I don't know if that's just a gimmick or if it's actually true. But it says, Mage in, Mage. Made in Belgium. Best before seaside for the date. Keep cool, dry, dark, but not in the fridge. And it comes out of Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Even though it says made in Belgium. So, <laughs> go figure. We didn't get the golden ticket. Darn it. We got the silver one again. Not worth as much. Jen, thanks for uh, taking care of those comments, too. Uh, I'm not. I guess all these people never ate chocolate growing up. Feel bad for them. Oh, yeah, it's like the one we had. I see the sea salt and caramel. Oh, look at this. Now, if we're eating fruit the whole time, people will be saying we're killing the vegetables, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a win or in between. Yeah. Somebody will complain no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you live in your mom's basement. So this is Tony's Chocolate Colony. And it's a big, it's like almost like a puzzle. But it's a huge chocolate bar, though. <laughs> Excuse me, it's actually really thick, though. Mm -hmm. You know, let you hear the crunch or snap. Snap. Very underwhelming. There you go. So it doesn't break into any kind of special piece like Hershey's bars. It just kind of breaks however it breaks. There are, it looks like little pieces of something inside of it. Maybe nuts? I don't know. Try it. But I know what it tastes like already, but I'll, I'll have it again. The one we had was dark chocolate. This is milk chocolate. Okay. Was it a Ferrero Rocher or something like that? Those chocolates? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Melinda looks like puzzle candy. You can see there is something in it. I think it's like little nuts. It didn't say it on the package, but I believe that's what it is. I see it right here. No chocolate. Caramel sea salt. Okay, so it's little chunks of caramel. I missed that part. And sea salt. And sea salt. Thank you again, Jennifer. So, I didn't realize there was caramel in it. I don't taste the caramel. But it is a nice crunch to it. This chocolate, though, is a little bit sweet for me. I don't like it as much as the other ones. If I was to compare it to that Swiss chocolate, the Swiss is really good. The only thing I like better is that you get a bigger portion. It's a much larger piece of chocolate. I'll take one more bite, though, just for the heck of it. What snack pack did you purchase? It's not a snack pack. It's actually um, items that my daughter picked out at World Market. And it was a Christmas gift to me. So this is part two. It was a big bag full of them. Mm-hmm. The chocolate stuck to my teeth. You tell them, Jennifer. <laughs> you know the best part about it, though? Not to give them any attention, 
but they actually mistaken me for someone who actually gives a crap. <laughs> I don't care what they think. <laughs> All right, we got two items left. We're gonna let them choose, okay? Uh huh. <clears throat> and they pick and they pick the wrong person that asked for their opinion when she, which you didn't. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, Kristen, the mods are doing a really good job of taking care of them. So, <laughs> if you're not seeing them, that's a good thing. Okay, last two items. We're gonna let you pick which one comes next. This is Balhessen Waffle Latin Crispy Rolled Wafers or Loker Rose of the Dolomites. So pick number one or number two. The movie name. <laughs> so majority will win number one, number two, and then we'll eat the other one second. Your national snack will be probably pricey because... Probably because of shipping. Yeah. Or it has become from a foreign country. This was one and this was two? Yeah, waffles are one. We need a clear cut winner here. It's kind of tied right now. Oh no. If you have to, vote more than once if you want your choice to win because right now it's kind of split. <coughs> oh, there we go with the jokes. Mostly people are saying the same fake thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'm thinking number two is winning, though. It's... So I think we're going to go with number two. All right, I'll open it. Okay, we'll you take care of that one. I'll do the next one. Oh, <gasps> they're so fancy. <laughs> oh, wait, you ripped it. I wanted to read that. Oh. Calm sorry. down, Hercules. I'm sorry. <laughs> so when you open it, it opens like this, which is a neat, neat little design. There's some sentences in here. Let's see if I can read this. It's actually in three different languages. I can only read the one, obviously. These exquisite praline masterpieces in a unique shape inspired by the alpine rose typical of the Dolomites and the flower in Loker's patisserie art, if I even said that correctly. Oh. The sweetest refined temptation of the finest hazelnut cream with pieces of roasted hazelnut held between delicious petals of the most exquisite no chocolate. Pick the rose of goodness. I don't know how many times they said exquisite in there. But I think it's going to be exquisite. Yes. So it comes with um, four individually wrapped of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Flowers. <laughs> yeah, so it does look like a little flower. It looks like dark chocolate to me, though. But it's supposed to be a rose, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. I thought it was going to be crunchy. Yeah, it's actually really soft. Tastes like those Kinder Joy things we have. Mmm, this is exquisite. <laughs> Tastes like what? Those Kinder Joy, Kinder Joy um, little desserts we have, those little balls. What is that pudding? I don't remember those. I know what they are, I just can't picture them. So the texture is really soft and not chewy, but I guess you could say soft. I'm not crazy about the flavor though. Exquisite. So it's hazelnut cream and pieces of hazelnut between... It says milk chocolate, but it tastes like dark chocolate, though. I taste it milk chocolate. It, it's, it looks darker in color. It smells like dark chocolate. Well, you can make comments all you want. She actually does know, so <laughs> nothing to hide. Um, okay, so that I didn't care for too much. The hazelnut flavor is not too bad. 
it is advertised as milk chocolate, but I think it tastes more like dark chocolate. But, um, what do you think? I like them. <clears throat> we have this to go. Okay, can I open it? Yeah. I started it for you. So last but not least is Balsam Waffle Letton Crispy Rolled Wafers. So. Big wrapper. It's like I love a big chocolate bar, it looks like. Oh, that's nice. Huh. It's almost like um, little churros. pretzel logs or churros, kind of. Mm -hmm. But you get a bunch of them, though. So yeah, it does look like a churro, but it's supposed to be a waffle. It's rolled up, and it's three quarters of the way dipped in chocolate. Ooh. Really crumbly. <laughs> Shotgun shells, yeah. Kind of does. Almost dumped it. So it's actually really good. They're messy. They're really crumbly and flaky. It doesn't taste like a waffle. It just tastes like a cracker, but covered in chocolate, though, it is good. Right. So that is all of our items. That was a bunch. So I'm going to tell you my favorite and least favorite. You're going to do the same. You want me to go first? Okay. So <clears throat> least favorite for me. Do we have the wrapper for that one? Which one was it? <clears throat> okay. So yeah, no surprise. <clears throat> my least favorite was the Root beer barrel dark chocolate. Dark chocolate wasn't bad. The root beer flavor was just too strong. But tied with that, though, was the green tea little... It looks like a peanut butter cup. These are my worst two that I like the least. I would never buy these again or... Voluntarily eat them again unless they have to. But thank you, Marty Jones, so much. Yes, Marty, thank you very much for that donation. So these two, I get a thumbs down, just not for me, but not to say that you wouldn't like them. My top two, though. <laughs> it's probably the one you like as well. Okay, so top two is a close tie. Mm -hmm. I don't really know which one would be better, but the Cadbury Whisper Bicket. Wisp of biscuits, Wisp of biscuits, <laughs> and the waffle testin crispy rolled wafers. These are the top two winners for me. So these ones I like because they taste like those fudge rolls, fudge stripe cookies, and these just taste really good. It's like a good snack. Yeah. So those are my top two favorites, and I would, if I see them in the store, I'll definitely be picking them up again. My turn. Mm -hmm. My least favorite, hands down, is this. Abomination to the world, <laughs> in my opinion, at least. You guys, the green tea. And the green tea was not good either. So same two as me. Yeah, my top two was the Tony's chocolate, and um, the flowers. What these? Yes. Do you like those? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think I like hazelnut. I love hazelnut. Okay. Sorry, I didn't pick the Hello Kitty. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, <laughs> but, you know, not the greatest. <clears throat> all right. So, guys, tell us, out of all the items we tried tonight, which one do you think would be your favorite based on the looks and the description that we gave and the taste that we described? I'd like to know what you guys would pick as your favorite if you had to pick one out of all these items. But Thank for you. sure, though, more often, more of these items than not, we did really enjoy those, so.
the Wispa, flower cookies, flower, Hercules, Hercules, flower, flower, a lot of people are picking yours. <laughs> if you guys tune in late, you can watch the replay. This will be up under the Child Time episode series playlist. So it looks like a lot of people like the Wispa ones, or that's what they would choose. So. Oh yeah, we forgot about the Maltese. <laughs> Hmm? Forgot about the Malteser one, the teaser. <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. It just didn't taste any malt, so I was kind of disappointed. But um, those also too, these little burgers weren't too bad either. They're not so much for flavor, just more on a fun item, you know, to share with your friends or to have at a party. Those are pretty good too, though. Yeah. But um, that's gonna be it though. That was part two and the final. Of all the items I got for Christmas. So thank, thank you, Lily, for all the items. You're welcome. She definitely did a good job picking them out. <clears throat> There's a wide variety of stuff. Even though the wasabi stuff I couldn't stand. <laughs> I'm glad I tried it, though, because I never did try it. And now I know I never will try it again. You're correct, Cheryl. Um, but we will be back, though, next week. We do have a new Munch Pack box with all the other yeah. snacks and items from around the world. And Jill will be part of that stream as well. Um, but before then, I may pop up. Sooner than later with um, an item from Dunkin' Donuts, which I mentioned, which is a donut bun breakfast sandwich. I did speak with one of the Dunkin' Donuts. They said that they do make them. And I'm hoping to get there maybe Thursday and to do a live stream for that as a breakfast slash lunch item. But uh, if you guys have any questions on anything you saw today, feel free to comment down below. If you do want to see more episodes, including our Bean Boozle Challenge, that will be under the Chow Time Series playlist. Any final thoughts from you? Um, I really liked most of the stuff except for the abomination. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, it was good. All right. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your, is it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday evening. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be back tomorrow with a new scheduled upload, which will be one more video coming from North Carolina. This one will be Bryson City. And then Friday will be a really exciting premiere. So with that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Child Time with JP. And until next time, I'll see you in the next see video. See you in the next video. Not your mask sound. <laughs>